Hey guys, this is Layton with Quality Pro Reviews, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Reason 9.5 update. And really what this has to offer is VST support. It's been a long time coming, but we finally have VST support in Reason. So a little bit of history about myself and my personal experience with using Reason. I've been using Reason since the early 2000s, basically when this thing was invented. It wasn't love at first sight because there were a lot of things I loved, but there were three big things that were stopping me from making Reason my personal and main DAW. Number one, Reason didn't have the ability to record audio. Number two, Reason didn't have a professional grade mixing console. Number three, Reason did not support VSTs. So for a long time, I was always waffling between uh, Pro Tools and Logic and Reason. So for a bit of time, I did production and Reason, and then I do the audio recording, mixing, engineering, editing, all that stuff in Pro Tools or Logic. So that's how my workflow was for a long time. But slowly and slowly, Reason has been listening to the consumers and adding all the features we've wanted. So eventually we had a sister program called Record, I think uh, Reason 5, and we were able to uh, record audio. And they finally integrated that feature into Reason, I think in Reason version 6. Then we also got a professional grade mixing console, I think in version 5. And then now with the 9.5 update, we finally have VST support. This is so long overdue and we're gonna talk a bit about it. So here we go. Reason's VST implementation is based on VST 2.4. So if your plugin or effect is VST 2.4, which is practically the majority of the plugins that are available right now, you're pretty safe. Also, one other thing to note, VST MIDI plugins aren't being supported right now. So only instruments and effects for now. So there's some other cool features I wanna talk about, but it'll be easier for me if I show you. So I have the Reason 9.5 beta on my computer. So let's jump to the screen and I'll show you more. So here we are, Reason 9.5. Looks like Reason 9, not a lot of big graphical changes. But as I've said before, a lot of huge things with regards to VST. So let's have a look at the instrument browser really quickly. So as you can see, the usual suspects, reason devices. If we continue, you'll notice that we start seeing some devices with a badge of VST. So this is one thing that I like right off the bat. You see, you know, which devices are VSTs, which devices aren't. This is really helpful when you're just quickly browsing through and you just want to go through. So you might notice some of these have images and some don't. Some just have VST plugin and the badge, VST plugin and the badge. So for instance, Contact 5, I haven't tested as yet in Reason, doesn't have a badge. So that leads into something I wanted to screen cap, but I completely missed it. And it, was, it happened so quickly. So on the initial launch of the program, Reason scans your hard drive for all VSTs, wherever they're located, and loads them in. This also happens every time you run the program, but the first time always takes a bit longer. So when they all get loaded in, they all get loaded in with this gray default image that says VST plugin. So if I want to show what the plugin looks like, what I have to do first is drag it out. So for instance, I'm going to do contact five. I'm just gonna drag that out. As you can see, it says contact five for uh, native, I almost said virtual instruments. Contact five native instruments. And on the right, you have VST plugin. You have this open button. There's an on and off button to bypass the plugin. You also have where the patch listing should go, and you can go up and down in the patch, browse for more patches, or save your current patch. 
So I'm just going to click on open to open the plugin pop-up window. And as you can see, Contact 5 is loaded. I currently don't have any uh, libraries installed right now. But if I just wanted a, a, a screen representation of what you know this plugin is, I can just hit the screenshot button here, the one with the camera icon. And once I hit that and I close, you can see now I have this graphical representation of what this plugin is. So if I get rid of it out of my rack, and then I go to my instrument browser, and I look for contact now, you can notice now I have an image. So that's quickly how to get an image going. So let's talk about a couple of things that I like in Reason 9.5. Number one, I like save state and the undo feature. So what I'm gonna quickly do, I'm gonna just pull out GeForce Oddity 2. This is gonna be a plugin I'm gonna be reviewing quite soon. And I'm just gonna open it up. And I am going to turn this down as well. Okay, so I brought the level down to about minus 14 and a half decibels. Okay, so there's our patch. I've brought down the volume and let's make a couple other changes. I'm going to set this to duo. So now poly polyphony mode. Okay. And I'm going to go to a pink noise type. A lot of subtle changes, but I just want to give you examples of the undo feature in uh, Reason, which is awesome for VSTs. So, so far, I've changed the noise type. I've changed the, uh, the mode from monophonic to duophonic. And I also changed the output level, the volume. So if I hit Command Z on a Mac, you notice now my noise type has changed from pink back to white. If I hit undo again, now it's gone back from duophonic to monophonic. And if I hit undo one more time, you'll notice that my volume is gone all the way back to minus 6.9. So this is awesome. So while I'm here, I'm just going to show you the save state. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to just choose a different patch. So I'm going to choose this patch called ready or not base. Okay. So we have ready or not base. And just for fun, I am going to pull out another oddity. And I'm going to leave that one as is. So I'll have one with Titanic sync and I'll still have my ready or not base. So I have both patches in there, right? And what I'll do to the Titanic sync, I'm just going to move a bunch of things, just a bunch of random things just to show that it's different. So I've just made a bunch of different settings and I'll set this to polyphonic. I'll set the polyphony to 10. I'll change the pitch bend range to five. So I've just made a couple of changes, right? So I'm going to close that and then I'm going to save this as. And I'm going to call this reason 9.5 test. Okay, so that's saved. And then I'm just going to close it. Then I'm going to go back to it. I'm going to reopen it. Then let's go back to that Titanic sync. So if you notice, all my settings are there. Pitch bend. Range is set to 5. Poly polyphonic mode. All my settings here are still there. So it saved the state of this particular plugin. But... If I just quickly go to my ready or not base, I didn't touch it. It's still the same. 
And now my oddity, my second oddity plugin, I now can hold chords. Although this was originally a lead sound. All right, so just quickly demonstrating to you the save state and undo features in Reason 9.5. This is so awesome. So one of the other cool things is, so one of the other cool things, Reason has implemented a limited crash protection into Reason 9.5. So if there is a VST that has some sort of issue, you'll still, you'll still have your save state and your session will be saved. So that is awesome to have, especially, you know, a lot of times with developers, you know, there might be compatibility issues and obviously propeller heads can't test every VST under the sun. There are quite a ton of them. So I expect, you know, some issues. I, I expect all the big third party plugins will be tested. Uh, on my machine, I have a couple of uh, third party popular plugins. Uh, some of them I can go through right now that I've tested so far. So if I go to my effects rack really quickly, you can see some of the effects that I have. Uh, I have, of course, Isotope, the rack extension, Ozone Maximizer, but I also have Ozone 5 Maximizer, which is the actual VST. And you can see I have some other uh, plugins. I have some from Waves. Some of them I've tested, for instance, like the Kramer Pi, I've tested that. I've tested our base from the Renaissance uh, pack and a couple of other plugins that I'm st I still had to test but so far I haven't had one crash things are running awesome uh, one other thing I want to touch on before I go is delay compensation so if you're coming from Pro Tools or logic you're gonna be familiar with this whenever you add effects or I'd say a number of effects into a signal chain you're gonna notice that things are gonna sound out of sync or out of time. So down to the bottom right, you'll see this delay compensation button. Right now it's it's off. Right now I've set it on. And what this delay compensation is going to do, behind the scenes, Reason is gonna calculate all, all the math and all the science it needs to do to get all your effects running in perfect phase and in perfect time. So this is one of the things I'm still testing. Uh, I have a couple of delays that I wanna test, uh, a couple of reverbs that I still have to test, but so far, everything's been running well. So reason, awesome job with 9.5, and I, I only ex expect better for uh, reason version 10. Uh, there's one big thing that I wish reason would add soon, uh, in the update, I don't know if anyone else has mentioned it, but I'm just going to bring it up since I'm here. Whenever you have the pop-up window open for the plugin, there's no bypass button here. We need one, and I'll explain why. For instance, those people who will be doing a lot of mixing or mastering or just overall EQing, editing to tracks, a lot of times what we'll do is make a change or make a tweak and then we'll want to hear it without the tweak and with the tweak. So it'd be nice if in the window, maybe beside the screenshot button, if you had a bypass button or on and off button, because as it stands right now, say I want to make a tweak and then I want to preview it. If I go and I click this uh, on and off button here, what happens is that the window closes, right? So if I click this, my window goes away and I can't make any tweaks in preview and turn it off, turn it on. I have to click open again. Well, I have to turn it back on and then click the open window and then make my tweaks. And then if I do that again, it goes. So we need some way of having a bypass button in the plugin window. So as of right now that's my only gripe that i have right now with uh this implementation of the vsts but so far so good everything else is awesome and yeah i think this is where i'm going to end this video so if you like this video hit that like button please share and if you haven't already please subscribe so guys i'll see you in the next one peace